In this exercise, we have moved the counterweight of the pendulum at the extended position. Notice that uh, with the extended counterweight, the, the pendulum could be balanced at any angle. Therefore, it is no longer necessary to balance the pendulum using the feedback linearization. However, the new configuration of the pendulum presents a different challenge. Now, if you try to command the pendulum to go, let's say, to 45 degrees, because of the friction in the uh, system, it may stop before or after 45 degrees. So your students need to design a new control algorithm to um, counter the effect of friction. In this example, we have designed a controller which applies on-off or also known as bank-bank controller. The algorithm of this controller applies a positive constant um, thrust or a PWM signal of 40% as long as the error is positive. And if the error is negative, it applies a constant reverse thrust of, uh, let's say, minus 80%. So the pendulum would move forward until it reaches or maybe passes its um, set point. When the computer realizes that that happened, it would reverse the thrust and drive it in reverse. And this process would iterate for shorter and shorter periods of time until the steady state error is less than a preset value in the current example that is set to one degree. Let's take a look how this um, controller works. Um, the command signal currently is 45 degrees. You could see that it overshot a few times and then it arrived at its um, desired angle. If I disturb it slightly in forward direction, it turns on and again runs itself until it finds the zero angle. We disturb it in reverse again the controller finds its um, target point.